Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Thursday, the 23rd of June, 2022. In the tropical Atlantic, we now have this one area to watch. National Hurricane Center indicating low probabilities of development over the next several days from a complex area of tropical wave energy, the intertropical convergent zone, and the overall monsoon trough. Bottom line is there is some chance for development from an easterly wave and a complex of energy out in the deep tropics. Pretty unusual to see for the month of June. We'll see how this evolves, but there is some model support. We'll take a look at that briefly in just a few moments. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, we still have tropical storm Celia off the coast of Mexico by a good distance, so no worries about any direct impacts from Celia. And as we check the track map, that helps to confirm that it'll stay far enough away from land that even if it becomes a hurricane, which it's still forecast to do, it will remain enough away from land that any impacts will be minimal. Uh, maybe some high surf coming in for parts of the Baja and southern Mexico. But other than that, nothing to worry about in the Pacific from Celia or any additional features. So we will focus our attention in the coming days on this feature here off the coast of Africa, a pretty healthy tropical wave, lots of energy out that way, moving into the Atlantic and if we take a zoomed in animation here from the weathernerds.org site, uh, a lot of thunderstorm activity, nothing really coming together just yet. This is going to take a while to get going, if at all. But the energy is there, the seedling is there, so to speak. And we will have to monitor this closely over the coming days. So looking at the total precipitable water, again, one of my favorite features to show this time of year. Uh, pretty good scouring out of the Saharan air layer out that way, a, a pretty vast area of the eastern Atlantic now uh, moist and no Saharan air around to choke this system off. So it does have a window of opportunity to try to develop further as it tracks off more to the west. And we can see that in the European ensemble guidance here. Look at all of those lows. No, that's not a whole bunch of hurricanes or storms trying to develop that represents the different ensemble members, lots and lots and lots of the different models. Each of the 51 members, uh, the 50 members plus the operational, generally showing some kind of development with this system as it approaches the islands in a few days, and then maybe tracking into and through the Caribbean from there. So we'll watch it. Nothing to worry about, but it is a sign of what is coming and what was predicted for this year. And yes, we do see the system in the Northwest Atlantic that the Euro is trying to develop in its ensemble members. We'll talk about that as well in this afternoon's hurricane outlook and discussion. That'll be on YouTube and Facebook later this afternoon. All right, again, I am Mark Suttoth. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with uh, more for you again later today.